Today I'm going to build a Bluetooth speaker. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. So at first I had this pretty amazing piece of maple burl that I really wanted to use. So I cut it up and prepared it and realized it wasn't quite wide enough to work with the speaker I had. So the next day I woke up more reasonable and decided to use a piece of cherry instead for the front and back face. Now to contrast the cherry I'm going to use some beautiful walnut for the sides. So we're just planning that out so the grain will match continuously. This speaker here. I got this one by walking into my local car stereo store and I just asked them if they had any single speakers laying around where the second one broke, which they did. And they actually gave it to me for free, which was really kind. However, I did find a very similar model on Amazon, which I'll link below. But just a little tip if you want to build one of these speakers too. And then I ripped it on the new table saw, which I have to build a stand for as well. To keep the front and the back cherry pieces in place, I decided to go with dados in the walnut. So two dados in each piece here, one for the front and one for the back. And it's a lot easier to add the dados before cutting the wood to size. Then time for miters. And to be honest with you, miters are not my favorite. They're kind of tricky to get right and perfect. Although they do provide a really nice and clean look. So they're hard to beat. So planning it all out here, and I have a pretty neat switch. I decided to go with a blue LED light to indicate uh, whether the speaker is on or off. And I'm using a coping saw here to cut out the interior. I know a lot of people like jigsaws and I have never really been a huge fan. And one of the reasons for that is that I prefer to do this kind of work inside the shop and doing it by hand is a lot quieter and produces a lot less dust. Plus it's a kind of a relaxing exercise in precision work. Then I figured it might be nice with a speaker grill, so I started working with a piece of MDF, marking out the size and drilling a variety of holes. First I meant for this one to just be a prototype and I was going to make the final one in plastic, but once I was done with this one I thought it worked really nicely so I just went with it. And these are magnets I'm adding in the corners. I picked up some speaker fabric in my local fabric store and just stretched it around. Although I bet you could use any fabric really. So the whole grill fits great on there and really snaps in place with the magnets. Now I still need some more holes for a power cord in the back as well as holes for the switch and the LED light in front. Note that I don't recommend gluing the cherry parts in, which I'm doing here. I mean, I can do that because of my local environment. There are a lot less seasonal changes here than in other areas. But in general, it's better to just glue the mitered corners together and let the panels float freely. To get the speaker off the ground, I cut up some small squares of cherry, and here I'm just chamfering the edges. For a finish I went with uh, three coats of shellac and once that was dried I added some of my Tang Oil Wax Polish with steel wool for that uh, super smooth feel. Mm. 
and finally the electronics. I'm using this Bluetooth amplifier and I've got this rather handsome switch. It's all pretty simple. Power coming into the switch, which splits off and one wire goes to the blue LED connected to a resistor and the other wire goes directly to the amplifier. Then the amplifier of course connects to the speaker. I got little feet I'm putting on the amp to get it off the ground and then I'm doing the soldering work. Putting in the speaker wires and of course checking so it works. Then to secure the power plug in the back I'm simply using hot glue. And uh, I will use a simple 12 volt AC-DC power adapter to power this unit. And I spray painted these screws black to blend in better. And then of course the uh, grill. Now let's try it. So this unit is completely controlled through Bluetooth, which of course you can use through your phone or computer. And that's also where you control the volume. And you really can't hear any difference whether the grill is on or off in terms of sound. So here we are. I really like the switch and I think the grain continuation of the walnut looks really cool. So I kind of like the way this project came out. It's very finished. Um, kind of debating on where I'm going to put it. Um, I want to put it in a lot of different places. I haven't decided whether I like it with or without the grill. Kinda, I kind of like this look, but then on the other hand, it looks maybe a little bit more finished with this on. I don't know. Um, I also want to really thank my patrons over at patreon.com for supporting my work. And if you would like to support these kinds of videos as well, then you can check out my campaign and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. It's kind of fun because each week I put out a private Patreon vlog where I go over what's going on and I really enjoy doing those. So I have a new table saw. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this project in the comments and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.